credit creation by commercial banks. Money supply in the economy consists of currency and bank deposits. Commercial banks are capable of creating credit more than the deposit which they receive from their customers. This credit creation function of the commercial banks multiply money in circulation in the form of bank deposits. For example, if a bank receives a deposit of 1000 rupees, it will increase the money supply to 5000 rupees. How? Banks manage to lend more than 1000 rupees. Whenever a bank lends, it creates a new deposit. The new deposit is money. Let us explain the process of credit creation with a simple model. There is one bank. For the sake of simplicity, only the relevant part of the balance sheet of the bank is shown in our discussion. Customer Mr. A deposits 1000 rupees with the bank. Since the customer deposits his surplus money, it is called primary deposit. After this, the relevant transaction in the balance sheet of the bank looks like this. The balance sheet consists of two sides, liability and asset. The deposit 1000 rupees is entered on the liability side because the bank has to repay it to the customer. It is shown as cash on the asset side because the bank is going to earn interest income by lending the money. Okay, let us concentrate only on the money supply. The money in circulation is 1000 rupees. The bank keeps 20% of the deposit. It is called legally required reserve. It is 200 rupees. It lends the balance 800 rupees to Mr. B. After lending, the balance sheet of the bank is there is a change in the entry. Cash becomes 200. A new entry is made to show the credit extended to Mr. B. When the bank lends, it will create an account in the name of the borrower and deposit the loan amount in that account. The bank creates a deposit in the name of Mr. B. The deposit is created from lending, so it is called derived deposit. After this derived deposit, that part of the balance sheet is a new deposit of Rs. 800 appears here. In estimating the supply of money, we do not make any difference between primary deposit and derived deposit. A deposit is a deposit. It is money. The money in circulation is 1000 plus 800, 1800 rupees. Money in circulation increases from 1000 rupees to 1800 rupees. Bank keeps 20% of this deposit and lends 640 rupees to Mr. C. The balance sheet with the new transaction is Yes, as we have seen before, the cash becomes 160 rupees and an entry of 640 is made to show the loan to Mr. C. The bank creates a deposit in the name of Mr. C and deposits the loan. Then, with this part of the transaction, the balance sheet of the bank is, after the creation of new deposit in the name of Mr. C, the money in circulation is 1000 plus 800 plus 640, 2440. This process of lending will continue till the deposit amount becomes too small to create a new loan. At the end of the process, the money in circulation will be 5000 rupees. The concept money multiplier K helps us to find the change in money supply delta M caused by a change in deposit delta D. K equal to legal reserve ratio over 1. In our example, the legal reserve ratio is 20%. So, K equal to 0 0.2 over 1 equal to 5. Then, 
change in money supply delta m is 5 times the primary deposit that is 1000 rupees the money supply in the economy increases to 5000 rupees now with the help of money multiplier we can straight away calculate the change in money supply due to a change in deposit thus a commercial bank or banking system as a whole can increase the money supply through credit creation.